Um, and so having these belt buckles, I think to a certain extent, again, played a dual role. On the one hand, it was a way to reinforce the persona of those above them as having this ultimate authority and therefore needing to be obeyed because they were perceived as being gods on earth. But it also, I think, was a way of trying to, I guess to a certain extent, ease the concerns that individual members might have at being forced to do some of the things they were told to do, because they are the people who are, so to speak, on the ground doing the things. They are the people who are looking at the prisoners and interacting with the prisoners every day. They are the people who are being ordered to shoot people at point blank range oftentimes who are not armed, who are just innocent civilians, um, who are there now being asked to kill. And so for for these individuals, by giving them belt buckles or by giving them insignia that indicates that they are somehow, that, that somehow they are approved by God or whatever deities you may or may not believe in, that somehow what they were doing was okay and was justified and would make them less likely to balk at the idea of having to do these things. 